Beware, there's a swindler about. Fair Novigradians. <laughs> Let it be known far and wide that Klaus Fetterling is a liar, a fraud, and a swindler. The miraculous hair growing formula he sells is nothing more than well water from the bits dyed with a modicum of lilac extract. The only effect imbibing this concoction is likely to bring about is a debilitating case of diarrhea, which will keep you running to the outhouse day and night, a fact which I had the dubious pleasure of learning through first-hand experience. Therefore, if this shameless cheat should pay a visit to your domicile, buy nothing and instead tell him to go suck down his own remedy. A Volker Olinger. Well water. Isn't well water supposed to be clean? Isn't that the water that people drink? Well, buy books. Hey! So purchase books, content not important, as long as they're bound in attractive leather and have titles written in gold plate. I wish to display them in my salon in a bid to lend my domicile gravity and sophistication. <laughs> I'm at Altberg? Cotton merchant. Well, that'd be great if I could tell where that is. Yeah, at least I guess I know he's around somewhere. Wait, what's going on? Uh, help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short and have around. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are not. Old villagers pitching, lords out with their purses, ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages, dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't make us beg. What's the wish you for, anyways? It's to help men in need. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to say they've had enough, but I'm also tempted to just give them the coin for it. You know what? 25 isn't that much, and... Just a couple drunkards isn't worth wasting the effort to charm them about it. So just, what the hell. Have another round, have a good time. Fine, take this. That's what I call loyalty to the guild. Thank you, master. We'll knock one back in your honor. Your presence is an front to the eternal fire. Good for me. standing on a bucket? You were standing in front of a bucket. <laughs> okay. I know I should probably be getting on with the main quest. I mean, he's... he's not terribly wrong. No, I'll finish what I was saying after this. <clears throat> You're the medic. What can I help you with? I'm looking into the dead guards. Heard you did autopsies. Did their friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help. Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely, from their adventures with whores. Mm -hmm. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. But perhaps they tried to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. 
Good luck. All right. So I guess they were out having it, spending a night at the brothel, and then whatever happened happened on their way out. Didn't notice that my beard was starting to come back in. I'll have to go take care of that at some point. I do like being able to do that, being able to listen in on conversation with your senses. It's cool. Where is the barber? Is he not on the map? Because that would be really stupid. Okay, so apparently barbers do not show up on the world map. Noted. So I guess I'll just have to wander around aimlessly until I find it. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Though her voice sounded a little bit too mature, to a degree that it was kind of creepy. Like if it would have been like a little girl like, Do you want to be my boyfriend? That would have been absolutely adorable, but it can't. Hey. Aren't you one of the people that tried to kill me for no reason? Yeah, if it was like, do you want to be my boyfriend? But she was like, do you want to be my boyfriend? Like, she sounded like she knew exactly what she was saying. Like, it wasn't just childlike innocence. <laughs> and that's a little concerning. Bodies were found here. Gotta look for clues. Anything unusual. Alright. Now, before we come looking for clues in here, I'm curious. About this estate. Establishment. Let's see if we can get inside. The gods have heard the land's cry. Its people long. Its people's long ways over. King Radovid will save the north. Can you not get in? Okay, I guess not. Is this a thing? It looks like a thing. Wait. That's definitely a thing. I'm not sure what it is, but there seems to be like blood on the ground or something. I'm guessing I'm gonna end up coming back to that at some point. Alright, so I'm just I wanna know, is this the brothel? Or is it just a store building or what? In any case, oh hey, footprints. Hobnailed guards' boots. Unimportant. A child's footprints. Damn, lots of foot traffic. It's a waste of words. Hoof prints, clearly. A horse? Hmm. No horse I know walks on two legs. Succubus. We're dealing with a succubus.
deadly delights. It's a succubus. Are footprints really spaced out like that? No, that's footprints aren't spaced out like that. That's not that's not how that works. <coughs> Oh hey, I was right. <laughs> what a freak. I wonder where this is taking me. Evidence all points to crippled Kate's. Yep, oh, never mind. So it's not that. Yeah. Empty perfume vial. Expensive. Neighborhood's a bit shabby for this. Um, I will follow the scent of perfume. I don't know why I didn't immediately think of that when I saw that it was a perfume bottle. Crippled Kate's. Is that just, like, a store? Sounds like a store. I'd be really concerned if Crippled Kate's was a brothel. <laughs> Let's real quick get a little refresher on, uh, maybe hybrids? Yep. <clears throat> Again? Good grief, woman, I'm spent. A few days before taking a vow of celibacy. Yeah. Quen. Alright, the fact that it says Quen is useful against them makes me wonder if I am actually going to have to fight one. Unlike other monsters, succubi and menads feel no desire to kill, do not crave human blood, and usually do not, in fact, mean any harm at all. They are motivated by one thing and one thing only, an insatiable lust. They try in vain to slake this by engaging in sexual acts with any other humanoid species they encounter. While it must be admitted that their victims rarely put up much resistance, this does not mean succubi and maenads, whatever a maenad is, do not present any danger. Their never-ending advances, though pleasurable at first, have pushed more than one man to madness or even death. Succubi and maenads usually can be found near human settlements, including small villages and populous cities. They prowl at night, though when stricken by serious need, they will leave their lairs during the day as well. So are they like... Are they like... Predators? Do they keep themselves hidden? Then like drag people into alleys or something? They shower their affections on men as well as women, the young as well as the old, the ugly as well as the beautiful. Some of them are, them are particularly fond of pastors and other holy men whose seduction they treat as a sort of game. Though succubi are peaceful by nature, when forced to fight they will defend themselves fiercely. One th should thus not be fooled by their fair appearance, under the velvety skin of their arms lie muscles of iron, and a blow delivered with their rear goat-like legs or the thick horns on their head can easily crush bone. Gosh, that's... that seems so disorienting to imagine, like, looking at this chick, imagining her, like, rearing back and trying to charge and headbutt you like a bull or something. Alright, leave me alone, Roxy. But yeah, so, are they, like, do they, like, prowl around keeping themselves hidden and, like, snatch people or, like, lure people into dark alleys or something? Because when I think of a... Well, thank you. Oh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> speaking of succubi, but... Hello. I would imagine that they would actually just walk about in the open and parade themselves. This is it. Hmm. That's not normal. Is it this guy? Where it's this guy. You all right? I was in the... I believe so. Forgive me. 
I must rest. Charmed by a succubus? Gotta get in that house, see what's inside. <laughs> 